Uh, welcome to another photo link video. Uh, this one, uh, we're continuing the series on the Sony uh, Alpha cameras. In particular, this one is on a feature found in the uh, Sony Alpha 850 and 900. Um, I have one of these uh, Sony Alpha 850s. I also have a 300 and a couple of others. Um, and the point is they're, they're, they're truly wonderful cameras. They don't have a lot of frills, but they are just excellent picture takers. This 850 is truly a professional camera. Well, anyways, uh, the last video I did was on Minolta lenses uh, off of a 35mm camera, uh, which applies to the, um, the Sony Alpha series. In particular, a really good marriage on the... Uh, uh, 850 and 900, which are both full-frame cameras. Uh, the 850 and 900 uh, both have a feature called AF Micro Adjustment. <clears throat> what this basically allows you to do is build a table on the camera of which um, you can adjust back focus and so on and precise focusing on each one of your lenses. It builds a table inside the camera so that um, when you mount the lens, uh, any lens that you're using in your kit, uh, basically what it does is it remembers the lenses uh, that you put on the camera and remembers any fine adjustments within the camera for each one of those lenses. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're going to get into it. So um, let's go. Uh, before we get into um, actually um, set our lenses up, the first thing we want to do is um, set the autofocus selector on the front of the camera um, to, oh, I've got A for single, it should be uh, S for single. You can shoot it either, or you can set it on S or C for continuous, or um, but actually it should be S for single, but I'm sure you'll forgive me for that. Um, because we want to be in autofocus mode prior to attaching the lens that we want to do the uh, microfocus adjustment on. I'm sure you are aware of the controls in the back of the camera, but um, to make sure, there's a menu button that we're going to utilize. That is the uh, top button on the left-hand row. And there's also a mic con microcontroller, which is like a small joystick, uh, which is uh, to the right top of the camera. Uh, they're both circled in red here and highlighted in yellow. But remember, you need to use the menu button and also the uh, menu controller. Next, what we need to do is uh, we need to be outside or wherever we're going to shoot our target and uh, basically mount the lens to the camera and turn the camera on. A lot of people like to um, do their adjustment um, um, on a mid-range focus on the camera with a with a lens wide open so you don't have a depth of field issue. What I usually do is just throw the thing into uh, infinity focus uh, with the lens pretty well wide open and go out and uh, basically shoot something at infinity. Well, anyways, we mount the lens to the camera, turn the camera on, and then we hit the menu button which is the, uh, on the row of buttons to the left, it's the top button, and the menu appears. <clears throat> then we use the controller, uh, that, which is on the right-hand side, that looks like the little joystick, and we cursor over to the setup menu, where we move over to the setup menu, um, which is indicated by a wrench, to the third menu. And then down, we're going to see uh, the AF um, micro adjustment. We use that same multi-purpose controller and we cursor down to that AF micro adjustment and we um, uh, press down on the controller. I mean physically down. Not in the down position but I mean press on it. Uh, that selects the AF micro adjust. If you want to um, clear the lens settings you can hit clear or you can turn it on <clears throat> when you turn it on, you're able to go down to a mount by uh, going down uh, with your uh, microcontroller. Uh, on a mount, you, when you cursor down on a mount, 
uh, what you do is you press down on the controller again and you get a scale that goes from 0 to positive 20 and also from 0 to negative 20. Each one of these is a step uh, in your micro focus. So what you do is you take a picture on, I usually start at like positive 10, and then I say I take a picture by selecting a mount, uh, cursoring up to where it says positive 10, um, hitting down on the button again to select it, and then I take a picture. Write down the number, and then I go to uh, back to menu mode, go to a mount, um, select 9, um, and then, um, you know, press the down on the multi-controller multi to select um, that, and then take another picture. And I write down each one of my image numbers for each one of these uh, that I've selected. I usually go um, like positive 10 all the way to 0, and then all the way to negative 10, which is 21 pictures. Uh, usually before um, I take these pictures, I mount the camera on a tripod, so that way each one of the pictures will be identical. And I choose a subject such as this of a neighbor's house where I can examine the uh, detail on the tree. Um, I also like to um, turn my contrast down so that I'm really able to capture the detail. But anyways, I take this series of shots, and then what? Uh, then you take the memory card out of the uh, camera, put it on the computer, and then what you want to do is compare each one of the images. Um, I usually do JPEGs, and then I compare each one of the JPEGs um, from the, um, the plus 10 all the way to the minus 10, which is 21 images, to see which gives me the uh, best results. Or you might have to even go higher. Actually, you can go from 20 uh, to minus 20, which is um, 41 images. <clears throat> but you uh, take each one of those images, and you find out which image and which adjustment gives you the best results. In this particular instance, I have found out that the negative 2 adjustment is correct for this lens. So I write down, write down negative 2 on the adjustment. Then I go back to my camera, and I reselect that menu. Uh, I go to the Setup menu 3. In fact, I'll bring it up again. Yeah, here is that uh, camera screen again. I'm going to uh, go to the micro adjust. Uh, first, I'm going to mount the, the or turn the camera on. I'm going to go to clear and clear the data for that lens, and then, but not all lenses. I'm just going to clear it for that lens. Then I'm going to go to my setup menu three, go down to my amount, hit a negative two on there, which will set for that lens, and then I'm set to go. Then whichever lens that I mount on that camera, if I follow this procedure for each one, will allow me to set up a table where all my lenses are micro-adjusted for this beautiful camera. And uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please visit the site www.fotolinq.com. Please leave a comment uh, to help my videos along. Thank you and uh, good night.